What is up, fight fans? I am Kevin Ioli. Welcome back. I appreciate you joining me. My guest right now is one of the most entertaining sluggers in the UFC. And who knows if he wins on Saturday over at Apex in Las Vegas, we might see something crazy happen after the fight. Ty to Ivasa. How are you, Ty? Good, brother. How are you? I'm doing really well. You come a long way for a fight night. I mean, you think if you're going to come all this way from Australia to the U.S., uh, you might get a pay-per-view show or something, but for a uh, fight night card? No, we got nothing better to do. It's okay. I, I don't mind the fight nights. I, I think they're, uh, I, I, they run them good. They, uh, it's, it's easy. It's in and out. And uh, obviously, I love the fans. You know, everyone, uh, I love the crowd. But, um, you know, you got to, it comes with it sometimes. And, and this might be a good place to keep me focused and get this win, you know, so so it's good. Well, you need a win, uh, three, you know, three losses in a row to to really, really tough guys. And we'll get into that in a second. But at first, I wanted to ask you, uh, your teammate, your friend Tyson Pedro retired at Apex two weeks ago. What do you, were you did you have an inkling that was coming? Were you surprised when he did what he did? Uh, I knew there was, there was I knew he had something coming, but I didn't know that that was it. But uh uh, like I've said, uh, you know, that's more so, and I'll back him with whatever decision he has. Uh, obviously, the decision he made, he, he's, he's thought about it, and he, he had to make it for himself and his family, uh, you know, and, and uh, whatever I can do to support him, I'll always support on here. How, how difficult is it, like, mentally in between fights? Like, when, you know, like, in your case, you know, you, you lost to Cyril Gaon, Sergei Pavlovich, and Alexander Volkov, three of the, the greatest fighters in the world. You know you're good enough to win at that level, and yet you don't get it done. How difficult mentally is it, like, in between time, you know, when you're – after you get home and you have to d deal with the consequences of those defeats? Yeah, it's – it's it's uh, it's fucking hard. <laughs> you got to uh... – you got to get knocked down, then you got to dust yourself up, get back up, and then you might get knocked down again. Uh, shit, that's life. Uh, it's not just the fight business, uh, but luckily this is the fight business, and that's just how it works, you know. So the only way to kind of get back from that is, is uh, to come back out and, and, and get back on top, which which is my plan uh, this weekend. Do you feel like a fighter like yourself, you know? Um... Some fighters lose three in a row and they're really in, de in jeopardy of, you know, their jobs on the line. You're one of the more exciting fighters out there. You've won at the highest level. You've beaten a lot of really good fighters. Do you think that that gives you more leeway? The fact that, you know, the fans love you, you go out there, you put on good shows, you have been taken on, you know, I'm just looking at the list of fighters that you fought, you know, all these great opponents. Do you feel like that gives you more leeway than maybe some other guys? Uh, Maybe, possibly. You know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, a, a losing is one thing, but entertaining is a different thing. I, right. I feel like uh, if I come out and I lose and I fucking don't like, uh, and I, the fans aren't that happy, well, then maybe that, that's a cross against my name. But I, I, as long as I come out and I feel I like put on a show and, and if I go out swinging and I lose, well, then I give it all I got. And losing is just a part of life. You got to, you got to keep moving forward. But yeah. as long as I'm having a crack, that's all I care about. Uh, sure. You know, I'm coming out there and having a crack, and as long as I can leave and have my head, my my hot, my head high, I'm good. You get yet another difficult opponent in uh, Marcin Tabura. Uh, what are the challenges he presents to you, and and how do you think uh, you know you will deal with those? Marcin's a very experienced fighter. I've watched him for many years. Uh, he he'll like to go into deep waters. I like to get in there and get out of there. You know, so. Uh, first thing, best dressed. That's this. That's how it's going to be. It's a heavyweight division. We both know what we're doing. We both know how it works, and uh, it's 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 going to be yeah. First one in gets the gets the treats. Do you believe there will be any difference? Like you know, obviously, when 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 things don't go your way, record wise, result wise. Do you feel like you have to make slight adjustments? I mean, you are who you are as a fighter, right? But are there tweaks that you've made specifically for Marcin to get ready for him in this fight? I, I not not specifically for him. I've kind of just been keeping to to my my corner and keeping my my structure. I've been doing uh, keeping up with my wrestling a lot. You know, just trying to. But I've been doing that just all around now, just trying to get back into that. But uh, mainly it was my body. Uh, my if it's compared to my last fight, I, I had to get a few things done. Uh, you know, I had to get a get my body attended to. And I, I feel good now. You know, I feel like I've prepared well for this fight. 
Uh, let's just say that I think it's about 10 steps up from my last camp. Oh, wow. Which is wow. good. So so at least now I can come in confidently and, and feel I'm ready. And you're gonna so, be, you're gonna be the tie that you want to be, right? I, I fucking hope so. <laughs> I need. <laughs> to what? How uh, did you have any surgeries, or what? What specifically uh, did you have to take care of? Yeah, so my my uh, my I've had like my elbows done. I had to get my elbows uh, cleaned out. I've had really bad elbows. I've had uh, my meniscus removed on my knee. Oh, yeah, it's. it's yeah, it's it, everyone sees all the the glitz and the glam, but there, there's some hard shit in this involved, you know. And and me mentally, it's it's been a long camp, but uh, this is the fight business, like I said. And, and a big win on the weekend, it'll just it'll all go away. But uh, I need to get that win. The win don't come that easy. <laughs> you know, you are one of the guys that's had some of the most fun knockouts uh, uh, in in the history of this sport. Is there anyone that stands out to you, or, did, or is there one that you can think of? My God, I can't believe that person got up. How hard you hit them, right? Because you've had some some crazy ones. Uh, Derek Lewis. Is there anybody that you would point to and say that was my uh, my best shot? Uh Greg Hardy one was pretty good. I think uh, I think it was more because uh, he rocked me first, and I was like, damn. And then yeah. I was like, okay, you wait. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was what UFC 264. So that was a, cu a couple of years I mean, ago. I don't know what I did last week. I can't even remember. <laughs> I don't even yeah. know my number. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a couple of years ago. UFC 264. You you end up putting them out of the UFC. So you uh, that was a hell of a knockout. Yeah, that was awesome. That was on the good show too, McGregor's show. That was that was an awesome weekend. So let's wrap up with this. What, what is your plan? Assuming things go right for you on uh, Saturday at Apex, what's the plan? You know, one or two more times this year? Can your body oh, get yeah, yeah, three yeah, fights yeah. this year? Well, uh, Bam Bam's better active. Uh, so that's the plan. I want to go in there and get this job done and then, uh, you know, look to Tim and, and, and my people around me in my corner and, and we'll see where we go next. Mm -hmm. But I want to be active this year. I want to have three, four fights if I can. Well, that's always going to be a lot of fun when we see you in there banging away. Tai to Vasa, Saturday at Apex uh, in Las Vegas against Marcin Tibura. Appreciate your brother. Good luck to you. Shot, my brother. Have a good one. You too.